Hello, my name is James Smith from GANanalysis.net. Today we're talking about Bitcoin and the zero price fan. We take the high back, all the way back here in 2017 and we draw the GAN fan up from zero at the time of that high. So you can take the uh, zero price fan in sync with a former high or a former low. In this case, we're using a high. And then we draw the GAN fan up from zero. And you can see it is hitting. It hit here. Um, we got a high. And then this was sort of rough support. And then you took it out. And then you went down to the one by two line. And by definition, a one by two line is half of a one by one. So if the scale is 72 points per week for the one by one, this would be 36 points per week, half of 72. And this would be twice. This is the two by one line, which would be twice the scale of the one by one, or 144, which is kind of neat. 144 is a big GAN number. Um, you can see it offered resistance down here. And you can see that when you took this line out here, you got this waterfall decline. And you got temporary support here before you took this out. And in theory, the risk is, it's not guaranteed to go this low, but the risk is that you would go down to 9,419 um, by the end of the year. Um, it doesn't have to go that low, but that is your risk. So as with anything, you know, it's all a matter of probability. And GAN is not going to give you uh, absolute certainty on a lot of things, but uh, when you see a lot of hits, you know, the circled lines, this is a three by one. A three by one would be three times the scale of the one by one. So 216 points per week. That gave you a lower high off which you sold off. And, you know, I just think that this is a right scale because you're getting the hits, you know, one, two, three. If you get another hit down here, that would be four. So you're going to watch and see how things play out. I think you're at risk if you try to buy uh, Bitcoin right now, mainly because you took out this line. Now, if you were to go back and close above it, and ideally also above this former high back here, around 20,000, then yeah, maybe you're starting a big new uptrend. As long as you stay below the one by one, you're at risk of a further decline. So, you know, it doesn't give you perfect answers on everything, but I'm just saying if it were my money, I would feel uncomfortable owning Bitcoin right now because I'd be looking at this line saying, yeah, that's my risk. If we're at 16,000, could we drop to 9,000? Yeah, pretty easy. So... The alternate view would be that if you were to get down to 9,149 by the end of the year and bounce off this line, then you've got a buying opportunity. And you know where your stop loss would be. It would be just below this one by two line. Again, there are no perfect uh, solutions. There's no perfect trading scheme out there. There's always going to be risk no matter what you do. I mean, if you hold off, who knows? Maybe it goes up here and it takes off. And you miss the trade. So what? You find another trade. But I'm just saying, as long as you're below this line, this one by one line, you have a risk that you'll go down here. So you're better off waiting until you get above this former high or until you bounce off this level. So sometimes there's nothing to do. There's no trade, at least not from this chart. Maybe some other chart will give you a trade, but not this chart. So that's a quick and dirty explanation of the zero price fan applied to uh, Bitcoin.